Greg versus OG, a big matchup on our hands here. And the OGs are looking onward, trying to make it their own. Alexi B and company will be taking on Tapson and crew. And we're going to be doing it on Inferno for the ESL Pro League Season 12. It's going to be the opening map of the second match of the day. And we would invite, like to invite you to join us, as well as your friends, family, mother, brother, sister, cousin, whoever you got out there, tell them all about it. This one's only for the big OGs, as now we get ready to head in to Inferno. <laughs> it's that big El Clasico that we've all been waiting for. Oh, Kito man. with his dual barrettes, the signature weapon on his signature map. He's taken them in this round over towards Shaw. This isn't, oh, actually the apartment, sorry. I'm really bad at reading the map. But OG starting this round off slow. Keto with the dualies excites me. I keep seeing players buy them, and I keep thinking to myself, well, you ain't no Keto. But I tell you what, Keto is a Keto. And he's got Ooh. them. Oh, they know. They spotted Sis and getting into under. Valdi's going to hold for him. Sis is here as well. Oh, Sis no. doesn't know it, but he is <laughs> absolutely so trapped. Dead. Oh, no. OG, are they going to drop on him, right? Because that could be a favorable fight for, for CS and maybe yeah, a burst. Something tells me this ain't favorable, bro. Yeah, something tells, something tells me this is not. Look, oh, they can be can even uh, see him. There it is. He's tickled his feet off, and now Keto with the dualies. Um, how underwhelming is that, man? Well, yeah. pack it up, pack it in. This series is over. We, we saw the thing we wanted to see, and that's what we get. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I would have liked it towards B again, but OG, they don't go B uh, simply because of the fact that they know Searson's under. Searson goes under, big go well. Mid's clear, guys. I hear nothing. Let's stack B. And OG, well, they were one step ahead. They already knew. And so that will be their round through and through. Like you said, the util, the armor, the kit, it gets saved because big really can't go back into this yeah, round in a three Like I said. Series is over. Pack it up, pack it in. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's that was said. what I said. That's yeah, what I heard yeah. at least. Uh, don't know how true that is. Thank you very much, Harry Russell. Yeah, man. No Big worries. OG on the block. Big OG, man, in the, in the house. Let's go. Alexa B inside of the B site, and he is looking to hunt. Oh, Zantares. Okay. The only guy with armor as what? well. That's really upsetting for Zantares, right? He's looking to get away with his armor fully intact, because then it's like upgrading in this round. You know, you spend like 350. You're like, hmm, I already got that full armor. Now I have a bit more money to get a gun. Well, uh, he gets naded. He loses the armor. Alexa Up B. in the top left. Yeah, where were those guys watching from? Yeah, I was going to say, it looked like they're on like a holiday retreat or something that's pretty uh that's pretty cool they heard that big game was happening so. that big game man everyone's gonna tune in for the big game only ogs in the big game man that's only ogs and some fans scout run boost for sis and he's going across can't see anything og have already actually made it to banana or at least with three of their players mantu's tucked and tight so no one's gonna see him here and OG just defaulting an ult as well, making sure the big aren't getting aggressive, right? They expect a force in this round with some saving going on in the one previous. Oi, oi, Keto with some grenades. Yeah. Big are notorious for having a lot of answers in situations like this. We'll see what they could come up with. Obviously, not too big of a problem. Maybe big is small, you know, not, not large. Okay, well, you took it too far. <laughs> Mid control here. OG are stacked up five deep. <laughs> I love, I love that Hugo's attempt to join again with just saying the name of the guy that you were alluding <laughs> towards. Yes, well maybe Biggie Smalls. Here's <laughs> Antares with the Deagle, doubling down over towards Long. Leave me alone. And. Uh, Hindsight's everything, Hugo. Right now, Big are in a really good spot, considering they force port into this round. Well, maybe I was going to say Tizian did kind of need to get away with something, and he gets dropped right away. And well, now this bomb plant coming in inside of the A site while Zantares is nearby. And Nade actually does a great bit of damage. That's thrown in from long side, but they lose Zantares. And so this man advantage, this five on three that was once on the cards is now out the window. What's the game plan here for Big? Half the time ticked off this bomb. If they do want to go for it, they've got to pick this pace up a little bit. They're waiting for Keto to wrap the apartments and to clear this side of the map. Down here in the pit, that's where the we the real threat lurks, rather. Keto and his Deagle doubling up. Mansu now the only... Woohoo! Searson going to snipe him down. But they take too long on the retake. And that timer ticks on down. That's a big problem as OG get a second. Oh, yeah, it is. OG on a six winning streak on this map. Keep that in mind. That one may get close, but it's still going to be theirs to keep. 
And some pretty, I was going to say big, can't use that word, some pretty impressive wins in the pocket for OG as well, right? Over the likes of G2 Sprout, including big in that one as well, Nip. So, yeah, Inferno's definitely been a good map for them as of late. Big know that, they know what to expect, and they forced up once again, saving some money on Searson for the AWP, but everyone else fully bought. They know that because OG lose everyone in the previous round, that they don't have a lot of money either. So this is actually a, a fairly decent force for Big around the back of the AK, The Keto did save. So quite a lot to use. Ooh, Alexa B, lining up a pop flash to bounce off the window. No one in apartments, or the door rather. So Big are just passive with three on B, they'll rotate Tabson over with the Deagle. Searson takes his scout smoke towards B, but that's not where OG are ending up. Yeah, Big have forced the issue again to try and capitalize on how much damage they did in that round prior. It's high risk, high reward, though. As a loss here means that they're likely going to go 4-0 down before they get their first buy. So this becomes oh. a very important round. And MBK just barrels out of the apartments. Tabson's going to try and reclaim some ground here. And he does drop one of the rifles that was in play. But this might just have to be a save right away for Big. Not very exciting, but it makes a lot of sense. You know, they take uh, quite the risk here for spying into this round. They put everything into it. They're trying to capitalize on the fact that everyone died for OG in that second round, right? And they get out of it with weaponry. But ultimately, it's not enough. MBK, mate, he just gets it done single-handedly, doesn't he? Yeah, OG, you know, if there's one thing big know about this team, it's that OG are going to be going for these apps drops whenever they can into the pit. It's uh, Alexi be classic. And we see uh, we see OG get given a lot of room on long. They drop nades into the pit, and that does so much damage to Big's pit player. And MBK can just finish off the job with the MAC-10 easily. So nice little setup there for OG, given a lot of room on the A site, and they will punish Big for that. 3-0. Like you said, Harry, probably 4-0 down for Big. That's the worrying situation. The save has come through, but there's no way you buy around it this time. OG got, got out with five alive, and so very, or four alive. Very good round for them. So all the more reason for Big to just save a little bit. Keep 2k a player. That loss bonus is pretty built at this point, so all things are good. Not great, but good. AK Galil still here, and Big have so much util, they can really fight back in these kinds of rounds if they want to keep OG out of the banana, especially. Molly's go down, Alexa B has to extinguish with his smoke, and he's going to get on out of there. OG leaving banana until later in the round. Alexi's going to flash Valdi back up the top side. Big are not contending for it. Without the weaponry, they play inside of B, Keto and Tabson, still with Molotovs and smokes available. OG, do they want to feign a bit of an apps drop here with some utility? Try and pull a rotation towards the A site. The bomb's actually joining them there as well, so it might be the inverse of that with Alexa B reuniting towards A. There's the B fake smokes, trying to keep tabs in here, and Big have a lot of utility to do that, but unfortunately, dropping it will deny them info, so they're just going to hold on on B for the time being. Tabson wants to get some value out of it, and he might even go pushing through this smoke. Meantime, OG, they're going back for the apps drops. Antares has to stop it all. And he's only got a Deagle, to, uh, or rather a P250. So really going to be hard pressed to do anything here. But what can he manage? The flash is good. And he's helped out by Tizian. Ooh. Who locks in two and almost three with the spray. Mollied out into the open. And out there is how Valde gets the better of him. Tabson and Keto left in this two on three, and they may as well go for it, right? At the very, very least, to do some damage. You can understand throwing Tabson at the problem, and then Keto can, like, float around. If Tabson gets some work done, they can attempt this, especially with these players already very, very low. However, Mansu opens up. While Keto does respond, he is still looking to do damage. Alexa B and Mansu both just tucked in inside of the bomb site here. Not going to give Keto much room to work with. And sadly, that Molotov finds the one place in the site that no one occupies. Oh. So Mantu deals with Keto. OG get that 4-0 start they were promised. It's still good damage done for Big. 
as now they have their first investment coming in. They would have liked to have gotten away with a bit more. Yeah, the worry is it doesn't really matter when it comes to damage because OG have been basically running bonus rounds this entire time because they haven't got any money either. So it's been Mac 10s and Galils. Now they can upgrade into AKs mainly. And uh, yeah, that's uh, a nice little spray for Tizzy and he does a lot of damage with the Galil, but not able to push it over the line. Valde and Mantu with two apiece and OG up to four. Here's the double orb for Big, wasting no expense, wasting no time. They go right in with this investment. Searson on that long side, Keto stuck towards B, and he'll be alone. Tabson throws his util and ducks on out of the site. Bit of a risky one, considering Big don't have Banana. They've just put the AWP on Coffins, kind of gambling the fact that they hope OG won't hit B. We're four rounds in, and that's yet to happen, so it's a fair assumption for Big. But they can't stay there forever, and Tabson knows it, so pivoting between the two, staying in CT, he can rotate quick if a smoke comes down. Right now, OG, again, looking at A, they hold for the B aggression, Valde, as the insurance policy to go back if needed. Flash through the smoke, Alexi leading the charge, they've got the long smoke down, so Citizen's Orb will find nothing from this position, it's backed up towards the library side. And OG just going about their business. How big even stuck inside of B, they're going to rotate hard in with two. And again, giving a lot of room away on this A site. They have so little info. They just have to run a standard setup. But this is fine because it's Big's first proper rifle round. And OG don't know that these double orbs are in play. They haven't heard one of them fire off yet. So there's still going to be a surprise at the 30 second mark. Smokes into B. That will keep Big here. And it's actually drawing a rotation as well. Zantaras is falling for it. And OG go right back into A. They're quick on a two. OG. Real deep in this A bomb site, but they're going to get halted there. Molotov coming out from the big side. That's going to be a big problem. Santeras has aligned himself in the site. There's multi kill potential written all over this, but who's going to be claiming that? So far, no one. Both frags going the way of big, and there's just no time for the plant. It's going to be a first round, and it's a big one to take. Yeah, that Molotov just wins the round for Big, right? It slows OG down to the point that Zantaris can double back from rotating B. Tapson's cool, it's clear, no one's pushed in. It's just smokes and flashes. And then they set up with a lovely little crossfire in the site, plus the AWP there out as well. <laughs> uh, and there's just no way of getting past it. It's like a family retreat they're on, and they're yeah. watching this big OG game. And every time that it cuts back to them, I felt there's going to be more and more people. Like there, there needs growing. to be, yeah. Like, eventually, we just need the entire local population in that one shot. That would be epic. I do want to know more moment. about the story, though. So perhaps yeah. if they are listening, Let perhaps know. if they do have their Twitter sphere, we'll light it up. Hashtag ESL Pro League. would love to know how you're watching. Maybe, just maybe, it'll end up on stream. Who knows? Not us, that's for sure. This is bigger than you, Hugo. This is bigger than us. Far short for OG, here they go. Molly's again for big, oh, being yes. a problem. The bomb first and dropped in already. It's a commitment for OG. They have to throw everything at this. Uh, big have already shut it right down. The spray is good. Tizian and Santaris combine, and Mantu says goodbye. Ah, the one minute save. <laughs> <laughs> a classic here. Mm -hmm. It's always horrible to be in this position. Like, you don't even know if you're going to get away with the AK. That's the worst part. The bomb goes flying in the site first. Yeah, yeah, that's always like Immediate. a horrible one as well. Like, the round's already basically over the moment that, it, it, you know, it starts to slide in the favor of Big with the bomb lost as well. Even when you realize that you're running into a stack there, it's, it's far too late in the round. <laughs> And so, yeah, they find Mantu. He's not able to get away with the AK. It's the second round on the board for Big, and they keep it flawless as well. One thing I do love about this Big squad is that they have this advantage of, like, being able to have a good chunk of the team playing together on LAN. Obviously, there's a few exceptions, as we can see with Zatara's right there. But uh, we do have a few of them together. I feel like that can make quite the difference. Yeah, I remember for DreamHack Masters, we had, like, four players of Big playing on LAN together and Searson playing at home. Not interested. Not tempted, but hey, they got the win there. So whatever works, right? It's kind of crazy how you can go from, you know, winning an event in that fashion, the, the reverse sweep in the BO5 grand final versus G2, to then go uh, not into your next event, right? Because they played a couple, they, they played DreamHack Open, and they won that as well. But then going into something like Cologne and just dropping out, I, I don't think that was expected for Big. I don't think it's what they wanted, and that's why they really need to prove themselves this season as well. They they had a great opening game on the first day. They took down AGO two and zero, 
a game that they should be winning. And this is another one where, I, you know, it's not as clear cut. OG did place very well in Cologne and we can't take that away from them. But if Big are on the number one level, on the, on the number one ranking, well, they're not anymore, but if they want to prove to be a number one team, this is a series that they've got to sweep up. OG looking to do everything in their power to stop them. And towards B for a change, hey, it's no longer A plays six in a row. Now there's a new site in town, and Dantares, this early rotate, oh, he's reconsidering. He keeps hopping between CT and Long. He'll go back into A, but maybe he'll want to come back towards B because OG with five players have crept up Banana and are setting up smokes. Yeah, something that's pretty key here is that there's only one smoke on OG, and Tabson has just left CT side to take up a position at Coffin. And you can imagine that this smoke is going to be CT based. That's often the way, right? If you've only got one, they even double nade it. Mm. They run the gauntlet now, but these players are already tucked into the site. So these pistols are going to be hard pressed to get away with anything. Rotation's coming in. Tabson, it's pretty critical that he stays alive here just to protect Keo. Keo don't need no protection. He's just going to take him down on his own. And so big. They'll lock it a third. And that's why Keto came into this game with, uh, what was that, 1,000 ADR or something like yeah, that? Yeah, 330 it's... ADR, which I think is definitely wrong, given that I don't know, he was man. one of the bottom performers for big at ESL 1 Cologne. Well, wow. showing up with a double orb at least, right? We haven't really seen Sis and tested on his. Uh, it's more been the crossfire between Tizzy and his Antares on that A site, Ooh. getting locked down. Four for big on B, throwing lots of grenades, I imagine. They want to establish banana control. OG finally have the buy back for it. They were eco last round, but they have utility to keep big out of this position. Just one molly will do it. And uh, now being methodical, clearing the corner, trapping someone at sandbags if they were to play aggressive. And that's why big aren't, aren't even considering that position, aren't trying to take it back so they don't want to lose early players the the thing that's pretty cool now is that these two b players still a have pretty much all of their utility but most importantly have these two nades and so og are going to start to take a position in banana assuming well the nades have come in we can start to move up they were really good nades as well that found a lot of damage and so now there's always the chance that that more HEs start to rain down Banana and get away with even more damage. And Big, they're also in a spot now where they could maybe even look to retake Banana once uh, once the timer ticks on down a little bit more. Yeah, on top of that, the, the early nades plus the one that Tabson just threw over makes it look like there's a triple B setup. So OG might be scared of this B bomb site again. Well, now there is a triple B setup, so at least they made the right reads. And Tara's moving over. It's been fairly unfortunate with these timings as OG again with low time. And that is the key here for Big. You haven't seen or heard anyone in middle or apartments yet. OG looking to overrun this A site. And when they were given the long control in the past, it came back to hurt Big. So Tizian trying to fill that void. He's been flashed off, though. 25 seconds. This bomb's got to go. Well, it's not going to go very far. It likes to be the first one to fall, but a trade comes in from Nathan. And it's Tizian that falls. The timer almost down to 10. Searson able to pick up an AWP kill before he falls. And this has gone okay, all things considered. 2v3 now on the retake for OG. Keto going to flash them in over here towards short. Now Issa is down in the pit, and this flash is going to leave him... A little bit pressed, but he's not peeking wide, so they don't get that info. Mansu going to find the first, and now while they're looking for this trade, this is where Issa's given a little bit more room to spring his trap from pit. Tabson left in the clutch. Oh, hits Ooh, the wall okay. bang. Issa on the uh, receiving end of that one, and now Tabson closing the distance, but Issa's able to hold his ground and lock in a fifth for OG as he wins out that 1v1 down in the pit. I also got a little bit of information just now from oh, okay. the, uh, the big manager, Christian Lenz. He's just come in with the info that uh, Zataris is actually with the rest of the team. Oh, really? He's just playing in a, in a separate room. Ooh. Yeah. Fine to his own space. So, so he's, he's there. They're, you know, they're all gaming together in a way, separately, but together. Referential treatment or? Got to get that LAN ping, you know? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a big difference. We know that much. Yeah, Tabson had to run down Issa there in the pit, right? The bomb was ticking so fast and he was almost out of the round. Could have gone for a close orb shot, but rather the chance with a USP dink. If he hit it, it would have been a kill because Issa was hit by that orb earlier on. But 
not connecting and OG, they convert another round. A disadvantage round as well in the post plant, but these long wraps have been good. Even though Tizian puts up a fight there, OG are able to trade their way into A with limited issues. Orp is out for Mantle on this T side as well. It will be required considering Big's running a double orp right now. And it's not, it's, you know, we're not we're not seeing both orbs really come alive at the same time. OG aren't losing early picks or anything. They are getting a lot of five-man groupings towards bomb sites. And so these orbs are kind of coming into the late round instead. Searson wants to change that, peaking ult early. But yeah, this is a very, very safe for both halves, especially for big in the early stages of these rounds. They're not fighting for the mid control. They're not giving away these early kills either. And we've seen Zentaros on these quick rotates back between long and CT always caught in the wrong place at the wrong time, it seems. Flashing up B is OG, Alexa B leading the charge. There's no one here though. Again, big have conceded top B. Very passive setup for Tabs and it's gonna leave him alone if smokes come down or Keto alone rather. Trying to drop that close wall smoke. Cut off Keto's line of sight. Make him fearful that someone could be walking up and also denying mid info is OG's prerogative. Cutting Searson out of this area. Molly on short as well. Bigger losing info. And this is where things, you know, things are hard to call for a CT side of Inferno when you have this little information and you just got to kind of gamble. That's why we have Tabson leaning away from B towards this A site as that's why where OG have constantly been getting their rounds. Another long smoke down, another short molly as well. They're just recycling utility as they set up for the app drop. 30 seconds once again. Well, Zantaris is going to smoke off the apartments, and that could be pretty crucial in terms of giving him a chance down here in the pit. Because OG, they've got no choice but to go through it. Yeah. And that well, molly misses his mark. Deary me. Oh, no. They try and run the gauntlet, but to do so, you got to get past Zantaris, and he has kept big in a great spot here with this pit hold. OG, they've got no time. They don't even want to bother giving this one a go. And so OG, with these slow A plays, it's whenever they leave them two down to the clock that it feels like, you know, the, the fact that Big are being very, uh, very sp sparing with their utility usage in the early round, right? And keeping a lot of that available to them when these site takes try and come in, it's just bailing them out of every one of these situations. OG, I do like these, these slow plays that we've seen them going for, but they need to do a better job of whittling away at the utility on big because it's been a problem now time and time again in those final, you know, 20, 30 second pushes. Yeah, from ab smokes to mollies on the short side, even when OG went for that fast short play, big actually double dropped a molly and, and locked it down. So, you know, it's not like big are, are saving it in times when they don't need to. They, they seem to know when OG are committing. Well, Alexa B has committed himself to the Tech 9. As we can see, he'll be leading the charge. Up what is Banana. That is the bomb going first. Now, the thing is, you guys are talking about the time, and, well, it was time for them to catch that grenade, I suppose. They don't give themselves enough room for error. They don't give themselves enough wiggle room at the end of these rounds. When they're not finding any frags, no frags are happening on either side until 20 seconds left in the round. There's just simply no time to play the game. Yeah, no, that's very, very true. It's like you're planning for everything to go right, right? But the problem with that is you're then relying on winning your fights like you have to, and you're also relying on big, hopefully not having any utility left. And as we can see again, like there is still so much utility for big here. Searson's going to try and hold down mid, but that smoke will be falling in behind him. He's dropped his now over in the top middle. There you go once again. This is just yeah. a great demonstration of restraint on this utility usage from Big. And this is because we've really only seen, you know, like this one pace out of OG. Flash comes over middle. That's going to get Searson off the angle. But he drops the Molotov. They've got no choice but to run through it. It's done damage and the flashes allow Searson the repeaks. But up through short, Zantara is not able to shut down this push. He does do it a little bit later in the round and then follows up onto Mantu. And so for Valder, there is just so little time. Rotations are coming in, he gets dropped. And this is where OG, it does feel like they need a change of pace just to give, oh, hello. They're passing around snacks, hey, we, man. It's a nice vibe in the big house. Hey, man, want some popcorn? No, oh, yeah, yeah, thanks, dude. Oh, yo, yeah, dude, I'll have some as well, yeah. Hey, Philip, you want some too? <laughs> All right, man, come on. <laughs> yeah, man, sick. Got to make, make sure everyone's well accommodated. Yeah, th this is a, you're putting it well, Harry. This is going really well for big, great calls. This isn't died to a short rap from yeah. Alexia B. Yeah, a tech yeah, they, nine. 
The Let's cover, yeah, that. right? The cover comes in very late. Tizian does trade it, but yeah, no way Alexis should be getting up that fast, or that far, rather, against the orb, and he's got bigger problems to deal with, the long wrap, and the molly pushes for OG. Sometimes that's all they're left with, right? You can't fake it out forever, and even though they had a... They, they weren't on 20 seconds, right? They had 40 as they went for that hit, but they knew that their last utility was out on the T side. They had to commit behind it, Otherwise, they're going to lose the round because Big will have that fourth rotation in from B. And Big haven't even needed to gamble or, or, or stack sites in the late round because, yeah, the, the three men hold, the two men hold, they're doing the, the work. It's a, a nice CT side. OG with a strong start. They need to have a strong close as well. It won't be in this round as they only have pistols. But it likes to be crafting something up for later. Big. Oh, they finally had enough. They're finally taking some control. Moving down Banana on this anti-eco. Deep smoke. The mollies have been used as well. They have nothing left towards this B site except one smoke on Keto. So OG at this point are forced into A and Big have come to expect this. What else have they seen? Sirson sees the jiggle. Does he want to hang around knowing there could be Deegs on the other side lining up shots? The molly keeps Valdi back again. This time it's early util for Big. They're being forced to. They might even rotate taps and round. That seems to be the play as Keto sets up with a second orb. Down Banana, fast up for Mantu. He's on the site, but not for long. Santaris double drop from the pit. He goes in for more. And as quick as you like it, Big, destroy OG in that site. Yeah, it's almost clinical here from Big. But then again, I don't feel like that they're getting the stress test from OG at all. I mean, th these rounds are, are going down to the wire on time. And then when OG finally decides to go somewhere, they're just getting cleaned apart. Big yep. take the lead. Six to five, Hugo. Yes, indeed, Trace. It'd be nice to see OG go B for a change, right? Like, recycle this, or cycle this utility short molly, long smoke, deny Big the info, keep three there, as they have done, bigger conditioned at this point, and then and then go for a full B execute when Big give you that banana control. And they are, again, in the full rifle rounds, only taking it against pistols. Oh, boy, Sisson's had enough. That shot here... Oh my, he did damage, but no, it was actually the banana players who got hit by the nade instead, so the orb does not connect. Either way, he gets punished, or Tizian does rather, in the apartments meanwhile, and Searson backs out. Santara is he's gonna hang around for some more. Oh, MBK. Two in the round, very, very quick, and that there is this A site looking more tempting than ever. Searson. Gonna try and wrap round behind OG. And now, cutting off the oh. mid rotation, Searson is in with another. They know that he's still over here in the apartment somewhere. And he doesn't know the whereabouts of Valde, but I think he heard someone else moving up through alt mid earlier on. Valde has just gotten oh, past man. him. Searson has hit every little timing needed to keep surprising OG, but that kind of goes both ways. While they don't know where he is, he doesn't really know where they are either. This bomb is still up in the apartments, and there is a chance now that Searson gets caught no. by Valder. <laughs> They've oh, swapped no. oh, Valder's walking it. Oh, what's happening in the round? Searson, turn around. No, Valder finds him, and it's all left on to Keto. 1v3 with this AWP. Smoke goes in, but there's a bit of a gap. Issa going to swing and peeks it. And he gets the better of Keto. So a nice try from Searson to make the best out of a very bad situation. But unfortunately, that timing that had been so good to him to get those kills in the first place then turns mm. against him in the latter half of that round. Yeah, big entries from MBK. And Searson, if only stuck around for one more second, he would have seen the bomb. It, it's clear he had the read, he had the idea, but Valdi plays that to perfection by just hiding in the bedroom and not giving anything away, not rushing to reunite with his team, who'd already gotten a further pick onto A, cleaning up a B rotate. Yeah, I mean, it seems like you're getting the hang of it here, Hugo. A big rotation, a big frag, a big Molotov gonna land right at Alexi B's feet. 61 HPs begins this round between two Molotovs, a series with Alexi B. He does survive, albeit burnt and crispy. Yes, Crispy, how could we forget Crispy? That's the way we like it, Trace. Yeah, yeah, wool. Oh dear, here they come. Keto with the AWP. We've got Tapson here as well. The smoke isn't down in CT. OG do this a lot. And yeah, Tapson's ready for it. <laughs> He's been playing CT almost every single round, waiting for this kind of execute. Now they're going to smoke it off. The spam does not connect the big. Look at the minimap. They have five players here. OG are barely in the site yet. With this smoke down, they actually lose info as well. They're scared of places like Newbox and Oranges 
when they don't really need to be. Kito's coming out from the coffins. He has been waiting here patiently for a second kill. Missed shot, jumps over the wall. Oh dear, oh. it's a mess. OG do cross to the back of the site, and this plant can be allowed, but MBK's being spammed down, taps and swings, and Kito gets traded. They know there's more to be found here on the coffin side. Yeah, what a oh. brawl this has been. Back and forth, oh. but Issa is going to have to do some serious damage control here. Tizian and Tapson, the only two left for the big clan side. And Issa in the site with 20 seconds to oh. work with. He finds oh. the first one and the second one easy for Issa. That's sick. That's so mental. And the fact that that all happens off the back of him crossing past the AWP with the jump, with the dance, Keto misses the shot, and Issa aces the round. I mean, that just, it, it seems like that was the longest skirmish on the B site without any notion of a plant. There were five big players there. The whole party of OG was there. Just utter chaos. Yeah, that's the thing, right? If there's one thing we've learned about Big, it's that in those like XV1 situations, yeah. they try and hunt down that last man and not give him the room. But there, you do see the shortcoming of it, right? And that is that occasionally, if you're willing to give every fight that you can, you can give room inadvertently to the guy in that clutch scenario. And Keo is going to be kicking himself that he didn't land that shot into Easter. It felt like such a such a minor problem in the first charts, right? When it was like this four on two, there should have been no way back into it. But Issa aces the round and wins that one out in what a one v three at the end there. So that is incredible from Issa. Yeah, starting from a pretty exposed position too. MBK not going to have the same tones in this round as he did last round. Albeit pistols here for Big Zonteras has recovered an AK off of his body but he leaves with five hp thankfully though tizian was inside of that site so now he's been given the ak with armor behind it however it all kind of hinges on keto being able to stand his ground at b alexa be dealt with keto just trying to buy time doesn't need to overface but valder wraps him and so that forces keto out we're into a bit of an awkward three on three tizian trying to make a bit of a difference but a quick scope from mantu and tabson dealing with the other or rather getting dealt with by the other it's val they're doubling up og take an eighth and now they've kind of flipped this back on its head you know they, they reset the money a big moving into the round prior so now while this investment does come through in round 15 it's going to have to uh, forfeit some firepower on some of these players in favor of grabbing that utility and what? kids behind it. Did you see that? I didn't. The one time I wasn't looking. Wow. What was it? I can't describe it. I just don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> like some sort of Martian sitting in a chair. OG have gone back to these B hits, though, and they've been pretty lucrative. So now they're rich for the uh, last round of the half and big. They're buying up desperately. Sears has taken his orb here as well. He's fired off a shot to find Valdir early, who's really come alive in these last couple of rounds. Back to A, huh, for OG. MBK coming through the apartments with Issa. We've got this pit set up. Zantaris has been a beast in this game already, and he's back in the pit where he's had a lot of success. Flashed out, though, from short side. MBK knows he's there. He's got a kill, smoking the molly. Can he live? He knows MBK's spamming him back, and he'll peek into the fight. The bomb gets dropped. MBK taps, taps, and on long, and this orb is trapped in the corner. Sis is going to smoke it. Mantu waits for a timing shot, but he's not crossing out, and so no opportunity here for OG. They should focus on the plant or give it big or giving them the room. Where do they want to play for? Leaving MBK in the pit to close the round here with this AK. He's on two already, and there's two more to find. The re-smoke over there towards Moto. Keto works his way up pit. Big grenade, though. It's going to land right on Searson's head. Keto and Searson are going to do it. They tag team, and they get it done with relative ease here to secure the last round of the half of play, which will take us into a break. We're going to be going to a break at 8-7. OG versus Big. We will BRB.
and there's no defense. I'll buy it if I want it. I'm going supersonic. Come on, beg for it. Alright, okay. Running out of luck. Too much in my club. Nishi, run it up. Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you're not my team, Bob. Shawty, I know. Why, why you always tripping like you top? Cause you're not my team, Bob. My team, Bob. With a 12 ass and how much be that poofy? It's a lot, la. Huh. My feature price bigger than your bank account. You talk about it, but don't show us that about. These boys only flexing with that allowance. We swimming in the bitch huh. I'm only fing you if your toes skew. Brown skin, goddamn, that's my soul food. I'm winning for the record, check your memo, bro. Generation of the source, and you'll remember us. LSD used to do promethazine I only THC and the C is my new lean We no longer up next on top Let your girl when she kind of my check There's no defense I'll buy it if I want it I'm going supersonic Come on, back for it Alright, okay Running out of luck Too much in my club Nisi, run it up Why you always tripping like you top? Cause you're not my team, Bob Shawty, I know Cause you're not my team, Bob. My team, Bob. <laughs> Would you look at that? Big on the block. And they're up against OG right here in a best of three series. Welcome back, everybody. ESL Pro League Season 12. We are ready to get the second half of play underway on Inferno. Things have looked good for Big up until about the halfway point. Then, in which case, it was OG that had some rallying fight in them. MBK having a few shining moments of, him, of his own, I should say. And I'm here with Aaron Hugo, whether you like yeah. it or not. Um, yeah, man, that's the thing. Like, if you don't like it, that's cool. I don't like me either. Wow. Here is Big over on this T side. And now they're looking to try and bounce back. MBK is having a very good game right now, though. You were right in pointing that out. He's often the guy down towards the bottom of the board for OG. Oh, and in this round, he gets very unfortunate. So I'm going to stop talking about players because I feel like I am the bad luck charm of this game. You are the bad luck Brian of Counter-Strike. I think that's Hugo, man. I don't know. Well, y'all are like one like in the same. That's so. true, man. We, stop deflecting, Harry. I am deflecting pretty big time there. Well, can we get that Photoshop, though? Because I'm pretty sure it would fit pretty well. Uh, with guys. him, you can do bad luck Byron. And then that's why I think like it's got like uh, a ring to it, you know? Uh, you Peppo think, yes. Go on. Okay, Peppo. so lots of grenades here for big. OG only have one player oh. on. B, so this might just be the round. Right there, right then. It's not an easy retake. It's doable, but it's going to require some serious heavy lifting, and there's still players huh. waiting around at A as well. Like, this isn't a full five-man commitment from Big. And at this point, OG, they know what they're walking into. Something that maybe gives OG a chance is that I think there was a bit of miscommunication there for Big. They double-smoked Coffin. Instead of smoking CT and Coffin, mm. they threw them both into one place. Now, that could just be, like, really making sure you nail the Coffin smoke, but I, I kind of heavily doubt that's the case regardless it's still a five oh man everyone just getting dinked in the oh it's chaos and that nade double kill for tizian Ooh. he was holding on to it all round like don't worry guys just you wait just you wait this nade you might think it was a waste but it ain't and he'll get the round locked in on the back of it so yeah big they deal with that one really well they go towards b where there was only one player for og they already dinked a player up in mbk there through the smoke and really, as you said, Hugo, like once that B kill comes in, the round was pretty much all said and done. Yeah, we've seen Inferno games plenty, of, many a time fall in that way. And because it's not a B rush, because Big are delayed and even getting into the banana, uh, there, there was only one player there. OG were leading on that A site. And now they're going to force up in the second, looking to turn the tide very quickly. Banana is uncontested. It gave it up almost every round of their CT side. OG taking a leaf out of their book, but obviously without the utilities to really battle back, that grenade could be good, but Big see it coming and they avoid it. That's the, the shame with that grenade. Unless you're like lining up a smoke and, and not moving because of that, 
you're going to see that you're going to hit the nade, leave the hand. You're going to see it hit the roof, and then you're going to see it come back down. So you have plenty of time to react. OG triple stack B, good call here. They know that Big have banana. That much is clear, and it looks like it might just be the full execute with Tizzy and holding onto T spawn for any kind of shenanigans here from OG. It's not going to be the case though. Boost up with the scout drawing attention. Mantu's waiting at the coffins, and Big they're going to try and put him in one. Yeah, oh. And two with the lineup. Ooh. And it's Alexi P with the cleanup. Double kill on his CZ before he falls to taps into Mac 10. That gives us a three on four. Valde oh. simply couldn't find the headshot. And now this bomb site is compromised. However, OG are qu pretty quick on the response. It's just going to take Issa rotating over and they're going to have full strength here. 3v3. Oh, that scout chipping down players bit by bit. And now they're all one shot to the scout. This scout effectively becomes an awe and actually dropped immediately. Doesn't have much of a chance in the round, but maybe need the dozen as he's 1v2. Now, both these players are very, very low, but there is only 10 seconds left. So they just rush him wow. when he tries to stick that bomb plant. And OG, they snatch it away. Alexa B with a great double kill over at the top of Banana. Mantu as well. His his kind of damage output in that round cannot be understated enough, right? He tags up like three players with the scout. That makes them all easy prey for OG. Yeah, I don't know, man. One more XD and I'm out of here. Just going to throw that one to you. We do have a good game on our hands. It didn't start this way. Would you look at that? Yeah, neck and neck with the force win for OG as well. That just flips the economy in the second half. So now Big, they're the ones fighting back. It may have won the pistol, but nothing to be shown from it. The Lil on Tabson is their best weapon. This is not a good force for Big. They have got very little in terms of utility as well. And we know how important that is on a map like Inferno. Tabson even getting dunked early down to 30. Not to start Big Wanted. They might even try and hand that gun over to someone like Keto. Mid is conceded, though. This has been a game of passive CT setups, so no one even interested nor contesting for this map control. Oh, boy. Santara's there's some regression here. Is Mantu going to get flashed out? It seems to be the play, and everyone's going to crunch middle at the same time. Great call for OG. They clear it out as well, and now they know it's a B play. They've even seen Kito with his back turn, but he flips it around and shoots back. Mantu gone, and now this rotate towards A for MBK has to happen fast. He'll be joined by Alexa B. Side by side here is big setup slowly towards A. They've actually delayed things a little bit. They only have two flashes trying to calm that across where they're going, who they're th who is throwing, and well, they blind one back in the library, but Alexi B gives them the room and Valdi's come off B as well. So OG have basically trapped big in the long position. Yeah, this should get cleaned up now with just so many bodies here for OG. And there it is. They get this one locked in. It's a team ace. Hello. Interesting. Yeah, and I mean, that's that's the situation that Big get forced into, right? Losing to the second round force, you basically have to buy that and continue the force by wars, especially on a map like Inferno. You lose it and, well, boom, instantly 2K, nothing to play with, nothing to play for, and OG surely starting to run away with the CT side, at least for now. Yeah, look at this, five Glocks. No investment here for Big. A bomb plant is on the cards. That's what they're looking for. Good luck. By any means necessary, but it's a big risk. Of course, OG get a little aggressive with it, and they can do that. They have the weaponry to back it up. They don't know that there's absolutely nothing, nothing huge in the hands of Big. They're going to swing on MBK. He's only good for one to take down Keto with a FAMAS. And now there's going to be a present for Mantu. Triple at that. And OG put up 11. Big with the full save. Now they're going to come in with the full buy. Searson back on the AWP. Going to be glass canning in it. Hmm. I love you too. I think that's what we're supposed to say to that. You read a sign? Harry or I can't read. Oh, well that explains a lot to him. Yeah, man. <laughs> I but like, you know, the the symbols are cool. Yeah. So it just kinda all looks like hieroglyphics to you. Yeah, well, you know, like they're all one in the same, right? Yeah, kinda, yeah.
They're just like shapes to tell a story. Ah. Uh -huh. Hmm. I think, yes. <laughs> Heavy app setup here for Yeah, RPG. man. This is cool, <laughs> right? <laughs> Oh dear, Tizian don't realize it yet. Ooh, Ooh he nice. gets the dink onto Mantu. Get out of my apartment, says Tizian, I guess. Probably, I don't know. But MBK still in this position. Ooh, Searson. Searson, ooh. Oh, oh, oh Alexa B. <laughs> the whack-a-mole wax back down through Banana. And now, here with the Deagle, looking to do even more damage. And while this is happening, Valdez still sat here, but they do check for him. Alexa B, can he give us anything else? He's got this MP9. Oh, the spray gives up the aim of the game that that flash worked perfectly. And so they just rush him down as that MP9 ticks low on ammo. Mantu now here with this orb needs Aww. to deliver something spectacular. If OG want to keep this round in their hands, flash is good. Mantu trying to get away and he lives to tell the tale. MBK has found one through the smoke as well. Oh, okay, another then. MBK. Hello, is the smoke even there for him? Santares has gotten past and is now trying to pressure MBK. He's going to find it. Issa catching a timing, Ooh. but missing his chance. Nade gonna follow up and do a bit more damage onto Zantares, but it's not the killing blow. They try and swing Issa, and they've got it down to the 1v1. Mantu versus Zantares. Zantares doesn't know where Mantu is. And so he's just gonna play the bomb. Tucks himself in, and now the pressure's on for Mantu, who taps it, but there's no peak yet. Zantares waits for that time to wins tick it. on down, and he wins it on the back of his patience. Yeah, and it was Mantu's patience, this the undoing, right? He's waiting all that time in Coffin, waiting for a fight, but Big are just double peaking pool, fighting towards CT, trying to remove that rotation. He looked like he wanted to go in too. I mean, earlier on, we saw him at that Coffin position. He gets ahead of the smoke, he backs away, he decides better of it, but you have to wonder what would have happened. MBK with two spectacular kills through a smoke. Actually, what makes that round competitive somewhat? Yeah, competitive, but still lost. That's a crazy part. Like, if you're if you're OG, you're like, how the hell did we lose that? Everything was seemingly perfect. Even Issa getting one on the rotate before the double peak comes in. He was tucked to the right. He was able to isolate the banana player, and it all started with Alexis D up top B. Like that's ridiculous. The orb was double scoped on him. BK boosted on the porch. Solo B, Mantu's there with the orb. We've seen him with a bit of a, a bit of a case of of the early whiffs on Inferno. Not the early whiffs, man. Not yeah. the early whiffs. Happens to all of us, really. Happens to the best of us. But Mantu needs to start hitting these shots if he's going to be solo B, especially a big comeback late to pressure it. Sirson's got his eyes on that position. Long smoke down. Valdi using utility, but big are passive. They're going to get flashed in from Sirson. Here it comes. Boom. MBK blind. They check it. Perfect. This is out late. He was also flashed, but he gets two before the bomb gets dropped in the open. They need to trade. He's still stuck here. Smoke down. Buys him some room. Buys him some time. Tizzy is in the pit. Dropping out of apps, but dinked from long by Valde. Oh, dear. Flash through. He's going to try and get aggressive. Get his control back into the site. Tizzy has not got a lot of room to move. He needs this to help with that smoke on short. Oh. He shouldn't be able to take down Issa, but he's done it on the fade. Tizzy catches Valde, chasing him down in the graveyard. A man who swapped off the AWP, he needs something more combat, something more close range as he moves up to short in the one on two. Man two versus Tizian and Sears and the bomb just now being planted big. Can play this in a crossfire and they will win it 100% except for Searson just shoots and that's it. It's all she does it. 10 to 11. What goes around is all around, Harry. Yeah, man, and that's the thing. Like, Issa tries his best to get that round back under control. It's another multi-kill for Issa, but it's not enough to hold on to the round. And that's the thing, right? The, the thing that worries me a little bit right now is, like, Valde is so often the consistent pillar in OG, and yet he is currently down bottom of the board alongside Alexa B in this matchup. We've got MBK and Issa topping the charts now. You, know, you love it when MBK is playing well, but so often he kind of plays like second fiddle to someone like Valder, who's often, you know, just wrecking fools here. I mean, I was going to say on Inferno, but any map, like Valder is just captain consistency normally. So you want to see a bit more from him because it feels like the rest of the team, you know, they're, they're where you want them to be. 
Oh, Alexa B double naded and brought down very, very low. The utility has been great for Big as well, right? That's something that I feel like they put a lot of time into, a lot of stock into trying to improve because it has been very notable that every game they finish it with just incredible utility damage. Yeah, in the last round, Valdo is trying to bail this out. That's why he's chasing the kill in Graveyard towards Pit. He's trying to rush Tizian because he knows that Issa's trapped with three kills on porch with the smoke down. And so he, he knows that Issa can't leave that position because he's got Tizian in the back in the pit watching him crossing out. So Issa's kind of screwed and, and Valdo tries to save that, but all it does is dig the hole deeper as Tizian's waiting for him and not actually looking to kill Issa. Sisson even wins that fight on his own, so... Crazy stuff. This site's empty. Uh, well, Big, they're about to realize Sisson's on the CT wrap with the smoke down for Big. Uh, it even means that a player in the site wouldn't see the fact that Big have CT spawn, but they're running through. They already know it's clear. It's a full A stack and the bomb planted. That just guarantees the round. Uh, Sisson can run around to start to make some money. Get these guns out of here. They're only PC50s after all, but $600 on each head of OG. Sisson can find success. Very stacked into the site. Like, they should be able to trade him here, but we know what the MAC-10 can do. The rumbling of this weapon scares all armless players. They might never get seen. Sisson may as well run. Like He's probably going to buy the orb next round, so he may as well just W in right now. As the bomb goes off, the audio is not heard. He knows MBK's here. He runs him down, and hey, that's something at least, taking the USP out of the mix. But it's not a worry for OG. They're more waiting for the rifles to come through, and this is it. Unfortunately, you, ha you have to buy here, but you have no orb available, not unless you want... Uh, I think it was Issa who had 5k to buy it, and then wouldn't have armor. That's just not going to happen, so... Rifles are out. We've even got SMGs to allow for utility. And it's a bit of a rough spot to be in for OG as big build into this T side. The early force for OG to put them down in the dumps may have been annoying to deal with early on, but three gun rounds in a row, or three full rounds, one of them being an eco, put big back into control of this map. Man, the artillery just peppering that B site as well earlier on. That's definitely going to keep two players here for OG. And while this has happened, Big have snuck out into top mid. And now they're at a spot, right, where they either just... I mean, no one's even considering long. You do have, like, MBK checking it every now and again on a timing, but that's not something I would want to be relying on, like, through and through. Yeah. Oh! Not scoped up at the right place to see us in. And MBK, all right. Apparently, he is all you need. Now down in the pit. Keo Ooh. does deal with Issa, but MBK's popping off right now. Finally dealt with, finally flushed out, and Zantares already deep within CT. That's a free kill for Zantares. And with that, the round should belong to Big. That set up there, very, very passive for OG. And, you know, it, sometimes it's good to play safe, but others, it can come back to hurt you. And MBK, even though he puts up a valiant hold at this A side of the map, everyone else just falls without any question. Yeah, it comes off the back of Sears and, you know, scoping deep and not seeing MBK there. He actually kills a site player first. Alexi in the clutch. We're counting him out, but maybe we shouldn't. He's got a 1v1 on the site. Zantaris is hiding back at library, but the bomb's planted for him. That makes the defuse Ooh. so difficult. Alexi in the air, and Zantaris trades. Even if he didn't immediately fight that kill, that would have been a hard round for Alexi with the bomb's position. Nice try, but... Not enough, unfortunately. And yeah, Searson, he's double scope, right? He doesn't see a, uh, MBK on the balcony. You think it's all going to fall apart with a timing check. Searson gets the opener. MBK, massive round from him. Trading two on long, killing a third. And still, it's not enough. Zantara is set up for the B rotate. He catches Valde. That's just unfortunate for Valde. He shouldn't, he, he's, why would he be aware that the big is still in the library? They wanted long from the get go due to that control. Yeah, the thing that is just so worrisome about that setup, right, is that there's so many ways for that round to go wrong. You know, like, it required someone to go huge, and even with someone going huge in the form of MBK, it still falls apart. And, like, there was even a world there where, where Big just wrapped CT and hit the B site, you know, and the players in B were, were scarcely even checking that CT area. So 
there was a, a lot of opportunities for that round to go wrong and very few scenarios in which that round goes right. And even the elements that did didn't equate to a round win for OG. Because the moment you lose that site, you already had players aggressive in CT holding that rotation. And as we've seen on Inferno, you know, time means everything. You're trying to come in fast. You're, you're checking angles, but not as, not as methodically as perhaps you should be. And that leads to that round just falling apart at the seams. Gonna leave two outside of B to try and sell this fake. While oh, the rest of the gang move back towards this A site. Utility looking to come through now. And a smoke at top banana. See, this is actually all right for Big, because in this scenario here, like, you know, OG don't have the info, and as far as they're aware, all they've done is put a stop to this push. Now, with Keto going aggressive, he has really wow. sold this and kept these players in B while the rest of the crew move into the A site. Are they ready for the man in pit? Mansu and MBK dealing with the push. Tapson stepping up when it really matters most. If he dies with the bomb there, suddenly Searson is left in an almost impossible clutch. But he's kept this in favor of Big, leaving Valder and Issa in the two-on-two. -two, a Deagle and an AK between them. No kit, and time has been the issue for OG on these retakes. Even when they get the kills, they're often left running away with their weapons. Searson, the unscope is very unfortunately timed. Valdez come out of apps, and Searson's not ready, but Tapson has his cover, and now hidden in the pit with no Molotov on Issa. There's no way to force Searson out. He goes for the fight. He's given Issa a fighting chance, but the time again is ticking. He needs this kill immediately, and the dance around the boxes. Tapson's going to swing out wide with four, and he will close it. That got close. That got scary, but again, it's an eco for OG where they just don't have the weaponry nor the uh, nor the kits nor the utility to battle back nice try again in the clutch but it's not going to go the way of OG big really good fake like you said like this kill is ridiculous obviously it's uh with it with an open smoke as well is able to continue and see that big and going back to a even though MBK and Mantu put a kill each, it's not enough to get Tapson off the bomb. I feel like that's like OG's like third mid-air kill in this game. Yeah. They're like they're like better in the air than they are on the ground. They're the birds of Counter-Strike here. The Eagles, perhaps. Oh dear. Alexa B gonna try and go aggressive down Banana. And he does live to tell the tale for now. It's a bit messy on either side, but the nades are good. And Big, they sent a bit of a stern reminder. You want to come banana? Well, go ahead. <laughs> Keto dealing with Alexa B. Mansu trying to get aggressive down through middle. There is a player close left. It's Antares, who's already low from those nades. But Mantu doesn't swing any further than that. He didn't see anyone crossing. Didn't see anyone moving towards B, and that might tempt OG to keep this triple A set up. You do see Mantu beginning a rotation now to play this CT area. Oh, but big, they're just so tricky. They're still denying info for OG, throwing two smokes on short and long. Like almost a middle finger, like we're here as well, by the way. We've got we've still got two on A. Don't be so sure it's B. And even though that is where things are ending up, there's always a seed of doubt in the mind of OG here. They've got to set up at the back of the site. Mantu with the orb Valde. Hiding new box, no Molly to get him off just yet. Big are going to go over the flash. Mantu missed shot. Oh, he's been caught. He's been cornered. Zantaris has a Molly, but he's too far away. Valdic checked in the corner. Searson follows up. He was posted and had Mantu locked in. Here's the lurk. It does fall, but it doesn't matter at this point. It's just about killing these saving players, and Tizian could still offer up that at best. Big with a three on two execute into B, and they don't need all five players. Two lurkers. One of which might still find success as MBK is in spawn and Titian is on a flank. And taking these guns away at this point in the game with the money about to be broken for OG is huge. Tizian, are you going to go for the knife? Yeah. Oh, MBK knifed in the back. Tizian, that sneaky little devil. Big. They take the gun away, they get the knife kill, they get in the head of OG, and they get in their bank account as well. Those are the two worst places for your arch enemy to end up. Strip it away the money. You see, if two guns were saved here, a buy would have been very, very achievable. And it's still likely gonna come through because you're gonna have like four rifles purchased up. But if two players saved, the two guys that didn't have money would have been dropped and everything would be fine. You would have five rifles in this round. You'd have a nice bit of utility to go behind it. And now suddenly you're like looking at this situation and you're thinking, well, we're likely gonna have to take a bit of a hit in terms of the firepower. We're gonna have to do that to get utility. And also because one of us 
just can't afford anyway. And so yeah, they just partially invest. MBK, the N stands for Nova. Doesn't, but maybe in this round it does. Nova born killer. Ooh, that's a nice check for Sears and there it is. Right up in mid. This there is, it is too far for the Nova to get anything done. Oh. And yeah, with the smoke in his hand as well, it lands in boiler, even giving big mid. And that's hey, that's it's gone. It's the round as if big just hold the W key and they're about to. Still being methodical, expecting a third player, but they don't need to because OG are gambling B in this round. And yeah, man, this hurts, at least for OG. If you think about the rifle rounds they've had on this CT side, right? The, uh, aside from the force flies back and forth early, their their first proper rifle, or when Big got their money back rather, was, was OG with two SMGs to allow for util. They've had the orb twice on man two. It's never really been a focal point of this defense. And now, yeah, coming down to this, a save to allow a buy against 15. You need a four round comeback to begin OT again on your map pick. This streak for Big is getting out of control. Seven in a row now on the T side. And with their map pick coming up after this one as well, it spells disaster for OG. I think I've had the answers though. This has been a very well crafted T side. And they'll respect the save because Big have no interest in throwing guns into the hands of saving players. Getting out with five alive, not the big need the money, but hey, it's there as well, just in case things do get dicey. And this is the place where it has to get dicey. OG have got to put up rounds here, or this one's going to be done and dusted. They have their backs up against the wall. Full buys. Man two on the AWP. Be nice to see him try and get aggressive, right? He, he Sometimes he's in a position where he can get a kill, he can get a pick, but he doesn't want to be giving away that early advantage. Well, now Big are just stripping it away. Sis and dry peeking mid with the AWP. Maybe it's time for Man to, to get in pole position. Stuck on long right now. This has got the short side in boiler. Big taking banana. Oh dear, that's a close Molotov. It will burn. Keto takes a lot of damage. Big are going to try. OG are going to try and push off the back of that damage with a nade down and bounces. She's a little bit short. The second one's no better, but Keto's shot hits excellently. Valde could die to the grenade. He backs out at the right time. And meanwhile, Iss has been killed in boiler and Zantaras pushes off the back of the molly. It's all falling apart for OG. This could be their map pick out the window. Oh. oh, it's it's done, man. Valda 1v5, and it's probably not going to happen. I hate to, I hate to break it to you, but he's been very quiet this game, and so you're asking him to perform the best he's performed all series now up against Matt, Matt Point, rather. Two players about to swing him, and there's the kill for Zantares. It's a dominant victory for Big 